Hey, it's D Factory Rat here at the Model Factory, and uh, we want to do a um, update on the channel, uh, update on one of the builds, and uh, update, I guess, on on me and what's going on. And uh, also, we have an announcement for a, a model show coming up uh, one week from today, so next Sunday, the November tenth. Um, and that's the Motor City NNL 19. The uh, main theme is the class of 64, and the sub theme is uh, 4x4s. And let me turn this around. It's uh, hosted by the Detroit area auto modelers, they do a great job at the show. And uh, Appreciate all their hard work, and uh, it's the 66 show. You can read all the rest there. Uh, it's still only five dollars to get in, which is awesome, and we appreciate that. So yeah, um, I did. I was gonna do. A, I did the main theme. I, I'm building for the main theme. I wanted to do the sub theme too, but uh, unfortunately, I haven't. Uh, got that one uh, done um, we're doing the uh, 1964 Chevy uh, pickup fleet side and uh, I really like usually I don't do box stock uh, you know uh, same vehicle as it's on the cover of the box but um, I really like the way this looks with the red and the white so I thought well I'll just do the same thing I actually got this model for $15 at uh, Dean's uh, Hobby Stop uh, before that hobby shop closed, unfortunately. And Dean retired, so glad to see Dean still at these shows. He'll be usually he's at that show in Macomb, probably be there next weekend, I hope. And he's got some great stuff there, so if you can, come check it out. Um, Here's the, this is kind of just mocked up. I wanted to just kind of show it uh, before it gets too late. And uh, we put it all together. Basically, uh, most of the pieces are all uh, painted. And this is just kind of mocked up right now. I still got a little bit of uh, cleanup and stuff to do. But that's just, that just piece just sets on there. Um, and we have... Uh, I just did the decals inside there for the uh, the front lights. So I got to do a little touch up on it. And here's the bed. We did the we did the wood grain in there. That's like a decal, but the bed actually has a wood grain, so that's kind of nice. It gives a little texture to it. And then uh, here's the the red. We did the white. Uh, Decal on the Chevrolet. Um, so that's turning out pretty good. I did I did some paint work uh, on the bottom too to kind of make it look like it's uh, wood. And that's kind of the body. And then uh, here's our chassis. Uh, it's got the red and white wheels. Still uh, working on the dashboard a little bit, but uh, it's coming along pretty good. We're doing the black and white seats, and the the door panels will be black and white. Um, and then uh, just a little closer look up at the. We did the little Chevrolet on the uh, valve covers, and kind of put a little wash on there to kind of make it look like it's uh, it's been run a little bit. But, uh, Show you the bottom real quick. Put the little spare tire under there and everything. I think this was a what was it say there? 1996 uh, um, release. <clears throat> I know I got some uh, I got some '66 trucks and uh, suburban and stuff also. But uh, here's the decal sheet that goes with it, and you can see. It says uh, 
you got a 1964 truck owner's guide so I'm gonna cut that out on the on the card there and then uh, place that with the model and probably use these uh, 1964 North Carolina plates on it and then here's some of our our pieces um, I did a did a black wash on the Chevrolet and I did a black wash on the grill you can see there the headlights uh, I got some uh, canopy glue in there so it's still gonna uh, clear up a little bit more Here's the battery and I did the yellow post on I got the sticker on there you know just all the little air box you know here's the mirrors I'm gonna do them black and red like they are on the on the box art here that's coming along pretty good I was hoping to have this uh, this Scania truck done uh, the trailer is completely done and the truck chassis is done I just have to get the cab together the reason I haven't finished it yet is because uh, we had a mishap with the paint on the bumper <clears throat> And I, this is a, a Maui Blue, and I have not been able to locate the paint. And I went and looked for some more paint at uh, about four stores, and they don't carry that color anymore. So, not sure exactly what I'm going to do yet, but as soon as I wrap this truck up this week, we're gonna we're gonna make a push to get this finished up, and so we can take this to the show also. Uh, the reason I had that kind of taped off is because I didn't want to drip the chrome pen on the uh, bumper. And uh, we were doing, uh, we're going to put the lenses on here. And it always looks nice when you can chrome the inside of the lenses because it was just plain plastic. And then, uh, so I was, I was detailing that out. And uh, so we're going to see what we can do on that. Also, I've had a lot going on around here this summer. Um, I have uh, I have an in-ground swimming hole that I'm trying to fill, and uh, they've been working on the roads around here. So um, I had them drop off uh, eleven dump truck loads of dirt in my yard, and um, so I've been kind of working with that. And also, they've been cutting trees down around here for the power lines. So I got a I bought a dump trailer this summer and kind of been uh, picking up whatever firewood I can and gathering up firewood and bringing that home. So I've been working on that quite a bit during the daytime. I've been getting up early lately, and <clears throat> also another thing I got going on is uh, my mom uh, has had some health issues. She's got less than twenty percent of her heart function. And I was down there last month for a couple weeks, and we were supposed to go to Florida and visit my sister, but because of her health, um, we couldn't travel and then ended up having to go to the hospital for a while. And she's going to be going back in the hospital um, this month, so I'll be going back down there. Uh, and so uh, thoughts and prayers for her. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, uh, hopefully they can get her squared away. And... Um, and we'll, we'll be going to the model show next Sunday. So I look forward to seeing everybody there. And um, look forward to seeing the vendors and all my fellow YouTubers and uh, subscribers down there. So say hello if you see me. And uh, I'm making some, uh, some more videos of the show and stuff like that. So um, let people... Uh, Really like watching those and appreciate the views um, also I did a lot of uh, shorts this summer from some of the car shows that I managed to get to and uh, also some uh, NASCAR racing stuff and stuff on there so uh, if you want to check out shorts they're up there on my channel in the shorts area and also I want to say thanks to all my new subscribers and um, We'll have some more, uh, a lot more model content coming up this winter uh, once this, uh, you know, we get into the colder months. So stay tuned and uh, 
We'll talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching.